In this video, we're going to solve a 3D linear programming problem. So we've got three variables, x, y, and z, and we're going to use the simplex algorithm to do it. So we want to maximize 5x plus y plus 10z, subject to x plus y plus z is less than or equal to 40, 3x plus y plus 4z is less than or equal to 200, and we've got the non-negativity constraints x squared equal to 0, y squared equal to 0, and z is greater than or equal to 0. So the first thing that we need to do is think about that top line here. And we're going to put that equal to P, and then I'm going to rearrange it, so move everything onto the left-hand side. So I'm going to have P take away 5x, take away y, take away 10z is equal to 0. Now, for these constraints here, because they are less than or equal to, I'm going to have to add on a slack variable. So we're going to have x plus y plus z plus s1 is going to be equal to 40. So that turns the inequality into an equality. And we'll have 3x plus y plus 4z plus s2 is equal to 200. So where s1 and s2 are slack variables. OK. Um, S1 is greater than or equal to 0, S2 is greater than or equal to 0. OK, so let's go into the tableau. So we'll have P, X, Y, Z, S1, S2, and the right-hand side. OK, so we're going to have this line first. So 1, 0, or oh, sorry, minus 5. 1, minus 5 minus 1, minus 10, and these are 0, and the right-hand side is 0 as well. Then we've got this line, so 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 40. And here we're going to have 0, 3, 1, 4, 0, 1, 200. So let's call this equation 1, 2, and 3. OK, so first of all, we look for the most negative in the top row, which is the minus 10. And so that's going to be our pivot column. We then do 40 divided by 1 and 200 divided by 4. So 40 divided by 1 will get us 40. 200 divided by 4 will get us 50. So it is the smallest of those two. And so this one will be my pivot. Now, conveniently, that's already 1, so I'm not going to have to divide that row by anything. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that means that row 2 is going to become row 5, and I don't need to do anything to it, so I can just copy that line down. So that's nice and easy. 0, uh, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 40. OK. Now, using that, I'm going to eliminate the z's from row 1. So I'm going to have to add on 10 lots of row 2. So this is going to be row 1 plus 10 lots of, sorry, row 5. Of row 5. So 1 plus 10 lots of 0 is 1. Minus 5 plus 10 lots of 1 is 5. Minus 1 plus 10 lots of 1 is 9. Minus 10 plus 10 lots of 1 is 0. 0 plus 10 lots of 1 is 10. Uh, 0 plus 10 lots of 0 is 0. And 0 plus 10 lots of 40 is 400. OK. Uh, right, now for row 6, um, I need to eliminate the 4 there. So I'm going to get row 3 and then take away 4 lots of row 5. So 0, take away 4 lots of 0, 0. 3, take away 4 lots of 1 is going to be minus 1. 1, take away 4 lots of 1 will be minus 3. Uh, then we're going to have 4, take away 4 lots of 1 is 0. 0, take away 4 lots of 1 is minus 4. 1, take away 4 lots of 0 is 1. 200, take away 4 lots of 40 will get me 40. OK, now, are we done? Well, yes, we are done, because there are no negatives in the top row.
So I'm done. Um, so we need to interpret this. So uh, x and y, because they don't have just a 1 and the rest are zeros, x and y are non-basic, so x and y are both 0. So x is 0, y is 0. We also have S1 as being 0, that's non-basic. P is basic, and that's going to be equal to 400. Uh, Z is basic, and that's equal to 40. And S2 is basic, and that's equal to 40. OK, so the maximum value of P is 400, and that occurs when X is 0, Y is 0, and Z is 40.